Hello again and welcome to this GIMP tutorial on how to change the color of things using GIMP. Now what I've got here is the final product. Uh, we've got these two lovely blue cars and what I've done is I've actually changed them because initially they were red. So I've managed to change the color of the entire car and as you can see it looks relatively realistic. I could take longer on these and do a better job but it gives you a good idea. Now we're going to start with a brand new image of a car. So I'm going to just copy one I've just copied one from an internet browser and I'm going to paste it in as a new image just like this. And as you can see it's a lovely striking blue color. Now, if you wanted to change the color of things, it tends not to work quite so well on items that are either very black or very white. But when you've got a nice colored car like this one, it's quite easy. So the first thing is we want to take a copy of our original layer. So here's my pasted layer, and I'm going to double click on that and call it original. Just like that and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to duplicate that layer so if I right click on it and I can say uh, duplicate layer there we are so now I've got a copy of this layer so we've got the original one underneath I then use the hue saturation tool is on the color menu you can actually use any of these and they've all got different uh, purposes but we're going to focus on hue saturation so I click it up like this and I have got master selected in the middle that's the one we want and to change the color of the whole image it's very very simple so let's go for this uh, striking lime green color here so that works fine I can say OK and if I make that layer invisible you can see it's just the same image but it looks unrealistic because all of the images uh, all of the colors in the image have changed you'll notice however that the graffiti has changed to quite a realistic color in the background so maybe we could change that too I'm going to put this on and what I'm going to do is make parts of the image disappear now we could do this with our rubber tool and rub out, but that's actually a bit of a long way round. What we're going to use instead is a thing called a layer mask. So I right click on here and select add layer mask, just like that. What this means is I've got, I can either select the layer itself or I can select the mask. So we select the paintbrush and you can see if I paint black onto the mask it shows whatever's behind the mask there. And if I paint down to the car you can see it shows the original car. Now the cool thing about using the layer mask like this is if now I switch it around so I paint white onto the mask then it paints it back in. So I can choose very very carefully which parts I want to have is my new color and which parts is the old color so again if I uh, switch onto the black so I've left mostly the car now but you can see there's a few bits around the edges at this point where I've got most of what I want I want to zoom in maybe as much as 400% like that and then I can take my brush size down a bit and oh, it's still rather large so maybe take it down to as low as uh, 40 or something like that 32 that will do so now what I can do is I can paint selectively onto certain areas like this so that's fine the black seats inside we want to keep all that and I can go over the back of the car like this now if I make a mistake and I go too far for example like that then all I need to do see I'm putting the windscreen back in its proper color there we are I've gone too far on a couple of bits there is I just switch my colors again and then I put it 
back in until I get it just how I want it. If I wanted to get that bit in there, I'd probably want a smaller brush even again, and I can just go around making these things look right. Now, if you're going to do a car, it has some small bits of detail, like the headlamps, and actually, you're probably going to want to use an even smaller brush and make sure that you paint black onto the mask where the headlamps are so that they come out in their proper colour. And I can just go up round the edge there, switch back, and put those bits in like that. And you can see already, even though I haven't spent long on it, it's starting to look kind of realistic. So I'd like you to get an image of something with a strong colour, put it into GIMP, you're going to duplicate the layer and play around using the hue saturation on the colour menu. Once you've done that, you add a layer mask. It won't be on here, so on this one I can show you. So you can add a layer mask like that and then you can start to use the black and the white on the layer mask. One word of warning, if you've got the image selected and you start to paint black, what you'll see is it starts to actually paint black onto here. That's not what we want. We want to select the mask and put black onto the mask like that. So it looks just so. So give that a go and see what you can change the colour of.